Hey guys, welcome to a brand new YouTube video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install Pro Super Smash Bros. Project M and my uh, mod Super Smash Bros. Project M Chaos Edition. So you will need a copy of Super Smash Bros. Brawl and of course a Nintendo Wii. You're also going to need a 2GB SD card. Make sure that the 2GB SD card is not a SDHC. Uh, if you're going to be using a SDHC, I think you're going to need to find another type of um, Project M, which I do not have. So, if you want to use my mod, and if you want to play Project M by getting it, I don't know where you can find it since they shut their website down, because, you know, Nintendo. I don't know where you can find it, but um, you will need a 2 gigabyte SD card. Make sure it's a regular one. It doesn't have to be PNY. It can be any... 2 gigabyte SD card like Top RAM, Samsung, or whatever you can find uh, will be good. Alright, so once you have your SD card and your Super Smash Bros. Brawl uh, ready, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go to your SD card after putting it in your computer. Now, I have a folder which is Pretend SD Card that we're going to use for the fault of video. But what you're going to do is you're going to go to your actual SD card. So here, uh, if you have anything in your SD card, go ahead and make a folder and drop, uh, just put everything in that SD card somewhere else. Because if that's there and you have all the other files, it uh, I don't know what's going to happen. could more than likely crash the Wii when it tries to load it. It's just going to go back to the Wii menu. So make sure it says this folder is empty. If it doesn't say that, then... Um, like if you see anything in there then just like kind of put it somewhere uh, so pretty much got if once you have your SD card ready uh, you need to just make sure that it's a two gigabyte one because if it's one it's not going to be able to do this you're not going to have enough um, data on the SD card to store your you know your um, your mo project M mod so you're going to go to your internet browser, you're going to go look up my YouTube channel, and uh, and you're going to go here to this download link that will be in the description right here. This download link will be in the description. So right now this is very important that you see what you're doing because uh, this could mean whether you're going to get a virus or not. So, of course, if you have common sense with computers, you're not going to go click on everything that's on the side here, like this blue button that says Start Download. You wouldn't click that, and you shouldn't. So, right here on Mediafire, and when you're on the link that I have, um, do not click anything on the side. You see the ads on the top, the side? Just don't click it. What you're looking here is, for here is like this here, the icon for a zip file, and a it's saying uh, what the file is, which is Project M Chaos Edition version 1.0, blah, blah, blah. So you're going to click the download link right here next to it. Make sure it's not on the side, because this start download button is fake that's on the side. You're looking for download. And it should say the uh, file size right here. And it must be in this black box over here. So, of course, once you've done this and you've downloaded it, uh, I already have my zip file right here. You should see a zip file right here. What you're going to do is you're going to left or right click it and you're going to do extract all. When you go to extract all, you're going to choose like a file folder to extract it. Um, what you're going to do is you're just going to make a new folder and uh, just like make a random one, like name it something like that. And just enter. And then what you're going to do is once you, uh, you're going to go in here, when you click extract all, set it to where it extracts all the uh, contents to this folder. And once you've done that, um, it should take a while. It's going to extract it and it's going to take a little while. So just keep, uh, keep an eye on your computer. If you're using a laptop, make sure that the battery does not go out. So just remember that. So pretty much. Um, pretty much once you have the files in this folder, which um, I do here, what you're going to do is you're going to go in whatever file folder has all this stuff. You see 
the files, apps, codes, private, project them, boot.elf, game config. Do not mess with this stuff unless you're going to get into like modding this stuff. Do not mess with anything here. What you're going to do is you're going to highlight it and you're going to copy it at uh, whatever file folder like this has. You just highlight it and then you're going to go to your SD card but in this video we're going to use a pretend SD card and pretty much you're just going to paste everything. So I'm not going to paste everything because that's going to take too long I and mean, this is just a tutorial. So once you put everything from this folder which has all your files after you extracted it or whatever folder you're going to put it into your SD card. So what's going to happen is it's going to put it all in blah 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 and uh, that's pretty much it. So what you're going to do now is with your SD card, you're going to take it out of the computer, but make sure you go to this little, uh, the triangle icon that says show hidden icons and make sure you right click and, and uh, eject safely so that nothing corrupts if you took it out because it's safer to do that. So, and uh, remember you can just close out your, your web browser when you're done with installing the uh, zip file. So pretty much that's it. We're gonna go on to the Wii and we're gonna put this in the Wii. So here we are at, we're at my Nintendo Wii and um, I've already put my Super Smash Brothers Brawl in the Nintendo Wii. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in the, uh, you're gonna take this, you're gonna put the SD card in and pretty much, once you've done that, you are going to turn the Wii on, as you would. Grab a Wii remote. Once you're here on your Wii, after you turned it on, and you put the SD card in, do not open the SD card, because it's not going to do anything. That's actually not going to make it... It's going to make it to where it doesn't load it when you go to Brawl for some reason. So just don't open the SD card. Go straight to Super Smash Bros. Brawl. You're going to start it, and... Pretty much, you're going to wait for this to load. Once it's done loading, um, you're going to want to uh, do. You're going to want to go to Stage Builder. So it's loading right now, and we'll, I'll meet you back when it's done loading. What you're going to do is you're going to go to Vault. You're going to go to Stage Builder. Now make sure you wait a few seconds. This is just like doing this, and then just go in. You got to wait a few seconds, and um, this sometimes happens where it doesn't load. If this doesn't load right here where it does this, where it doesn't load, just turn the Wii off and turn it back on. This sometimes happens. So just turn the Wii off and then turn it back on and go back in the brawl. If it does it again, just do it again until it loads up the, uh, the thing. Alright, so we're back again. So again, go to Stage Builder and oh, now it works so you're going to see all this coding stuff that doesn't mean you ruined your Wii or anything that just means it's loading the launcher thing so as you can see here's the launcher here so of course the update and add-ons doesn't well add-ons does stuff but update doesn't do anything anymore because like they canceled the updating thing so go to play and of course this wasn't made by Nintendo the launcher was made by a, a uh, I don't know who made the launcher actually. Uh, whoever made the or the Project M mod made the launcher, but like um, I made the mod for this mod. Pretty much, this is a mod of another mod to just does a bunch of crazy stuff. So of course, as you can see, all the stuff is loaded in. So I really haven't changed any of the fonts because I got to learn how to do that. And as you can see, your game is completely changed. Now, of course, when you turn your Wii off, it's going to uh, go away. Like, this is running off the SD card, basically. All this stuff is running on the SD card. It just needs the game to do, do a bunch of stuff. It's just like some stuff is loading on the SD card. So, pretty much, you can do whatever you want. Of course, um, uh, you got the uh, regular project um, thing. So pretty much it really isn't that much different. The only thing that's different is that uh, some of the... I modified some of the stage collision. 
If you don't know what collision is, that's what keeps you from going through everything. So of course, here you are. So we're gonna go, just to test things out, we're gonna go to this map. And as you can see, I modified the texture right here to where it has my me. So right here, it has my me face. And uh, as this is what I was talking about, collision. Uh, you can, it lets you go through the map a little by what I've set up. So pretty much, this mod is pretty stable. I've had it crash a couple times for no reason. I don't know why. Some of the stages probably don't work for certain characters for some reason. So really, just have fun. It's not really gonna... It's not... The, the thing you really would want to worry about is if it corrupted your data. But that really wouldn't happen unless it was saving the game and it crashed at the same time. Which... wouldn't happen. So... Yeah. R this is my first ever Smash Brothers mod. And again, this is a mod of another mod, so it can be a little glitchy. And it's pretty fun. It's basically just Project M, but it has a bunch of crazy, weird stuff. You'd have to explore all the maps to see what happens. You'd have to go through all the maps to see what happens. There's some weird, random glitchiness that happens that I put in. Like, teleporting you all over the place across the map is really weird and random. So, yeah. Of course, uh, I made this... This mod wasn't made by me, but I made the mod that changes a lot of the stuff. Like, the stages and the stage stuff. So, yeah, pretty much... We have a bunch of stuff to play around with. 